Grand Persons and the UFO movie that never was, Saturation 70. Six years before Alejandro Jodorowsky's extraordinary attempt to film Frank Herbert's Dune, there was another similarly ambitious and groundbreaking film project that was largely unknown, Saturation 70. Are you ready for this crazy and experimental journey in search of a missing film? Follow me and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Grand Persons, a former member of the Birds and the Flying Burrito Brothers, who died September 19, 1973, at the age of 26 years old, while vacationing at Joshua Tree Motel, was making his acting debut in a sci-fi movie, Saturation 70, that predated Star Wars by almost a decade. Everything around Graham was considered the catalyst that fused authentic American country music with the cool strut of rock and roll is excessive, strange and mysterious. Graham Persons, whose body was stolen after his death, was undoubtedly a musician around whom many mysteries have revolved for years. There are those who claim that he wrote the song Wild Horses, originally released by the Rolling Stones with Keith Richards credited as writer, and there are those who claim that his death wasn't an overdose, but a murder. What happened to the movie? Saturation 70, the film that was the brainchild of an American writer-director named Tony Fouts, the son of a Walt Disney company executive and a friend to both Parsons and the Rolling Stones. Tony Fouts worked as an assistant director in Italy to such luminaries as Orson Welles, Gillo Pontecorvo and Marco Ferreri, but found himself in a hip young scene that included Stash de Rolla, the avant-garde artist Mario Schifano and Anita Pallenberg. The movie, filmed guerrilla style by British cinematographer Bruce Logan, would later direct the special effects on Star Wars and Tron, and by visual effects pioneer Douglas Trumbull, who had just completed work on Stanley Kubrick's 2001, and for Saturation 70, planned to make computer-generated special effects radical and untested for that time. Part of the film was shot at a 1969 UFO convention at Giant Rock near Joshua Tree in the Mojave Desert and in Los Angeles. It tapped into the spectrum of esoteric interests and outlandish ideas, aliens, psychedelics and time travel. According to the director, the whole experience of making the film was like a technological tribal throwdown, with an energy buzz of the Richter scale. The movie is an update of Alice in Wonderland, and with parts reminiscent of Wizard of Oz, where a Victorian era child, then five-year-old Julian Jones, the son of Rolling Stone Brian Jones, falls through a wormhole and ends up in a dystopian future Los Angeles where he meets a group of aliens called the Cosmic Kiddies who have come to the Earth to save it from pollution. Unfortunately, the film was never completed. Saturation 70 has long intrigued curious music fans who doubted its existence. Long held to be a rumor by Persons fans, proof of the film's existence will appear in exhibition at London's Hearts Hospital in the form of a previously unseen production photos, pages from the original script, and the first ever public screening of the only existing footage of the film, a five-minute showreel put together for the producers, which takes the form of a nascent music video for the Flying Burrito Brothers version of a Raleigh Stone's song, Wild Ursus. Grand Persons convinced the members of his band, the Flying Burrito Brothers, to pose wearing costumes for the film and the picture appears on the cover of their album, Burrito Deluxe. In the movie, Graham played one of the cosmic kiddies who wear the contamination suits and gas masks to protect the Earth from pollution. 
to other members of the Cosmic Kids in the suits were Michelle Phillips from the Mamas and Papas and Stash Klosowski, also known as Prince Stash. He was the son of the painter Bathus and also a Stone's confidant. Feuds and Parsons managed to realize several ambitious set pieces, including a surreal shootout between a Viet Cong soldier and American GI in the aisles of a Gerson's supermarket in Century City, and a parade of cars roaring through the city of industry in a flying V formation. The Guardian article mentions, in 1968, through his friendship with Richards, Fouts wrote a film, Vehicle for the Rolling Stones, closer to Mad Max than the Beatles help. The film was to feature the group as a band of unemployed mercenaries wandering through Moroccan desert, in a plot that involved UFOs and Mayan style human ritual sacrifice. That project, entitled Maxagasm, also unreleased, was co-written with playwright and actor Sam Shepard. Would this movie have been a poster from the 70s and an acknowledgement of Parsons' country music revolution? Leave a comment now, your opinion matters. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, press thumbs down twice just to be sure. Follow me and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Take it easy. Peace. Oh, by the way, I'm an alien. But not that kind of alien. <laughs>